Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the NASAF Winter Spring 2021 Rocket League season. This is the West Division. Today we have the Lake Stevens High School Purple Viking Squad playing against the Seattle Public Library Blue Squad. Um, I'm current. Um, well, let's talk about some Rocket League. So this is one of Lake Stevens' two teams. <clears throat> we have a purple squad and a gold squad. Those are our school colors, purple and gold. And um, last week, so this is the purple squad we'll be watching first. We may be able to transfer over to the gold squad afterwards as long as there's not too much of an overlap between the matches and as long as I can get the joint information. Um, but this squad, the purple Viking squad, last week played against the I-Team Pioneers Varsity squad, which is from Lehigh High School, which I think is in Utah. Um... This time, we're playing against somebody a little bit more local. We are playing against the Seattle Public Library team, or one of the Seattle Public Library teams. I think there's multiple teams. And here you have it. Let's jump into the game. So on the Lake Stevens side of things, there is Yankee, Game and & Printa, and Macho Waffles. That is the Lake Stevens Gold Squad. Um, and then the other three who are about to join should be in the SPL Blue team. The Purple Viking squad, this team um, was pretty soundly defeated last week. Um, they're playing against a pretty tough opponent. The Gold Viking squad last week um, won their match and they were playing against the SPL White team. So we've had, uh, we've had two of the... LSHS teams match up against two of the Seattle Public Library teams. I think we're in it. Here we go, you guys. All right. This is round two. We're going to allow the camera to do its thing. Yankee starts off with a uh, punch deep into the SBL line. It's on the back left corner of that SBL side, driven around the wall. Yankee up there in the front with a boxy yellow car, a demo from SBL's Tola 206 on Game & Printa. Um, we thought that we were going to have a, a, a crashed game for a second there, but that didn't end up happening. Oh, I missed Ariel, but that's okay. Both, uh, there are two other Vikings players able to step in there. Knocked off the wall. It's heading towards the goal. A good defense by Tola there. Yankee punches it in. It's floating up over the top right corner of the goal. Destiny misses the block. Oh, Yankee almost got the Ariel. Almost able to knock it. A little bit of jostle. It's still in the danger zone. Oh. Looks like the SPL team is able to push it back out of the back right corner. Uh, Drax has joined the match. That is the coach for the other team. Game and Print that takes the first point. Punches it in. A little bit of an unfortunate bobble by the SPL blue team. Uh, but there you have it. Very exciting. Nice job, Game and Print. Yeah, the, the last match that this team played was pretty one-sided. I don't, I, I think we got a point somewhere along the way, but it was uh, pretty deadly. Okay, good defense by Yankee there. Though it's punched into the front of the goal, a bobble. Now, Yankee is all over the place right now with that boxy yellow hot rod. Good defense by Destiny there at the midfield for the SPL team. Tola going for a dribble down the court, blocked by Macho Waffles by the look of it. Bounced off the right side of the back right corner. And Destiny is able to bounce it out of the way. Yankee always up in there. Oh, a great attempt at an aerial by Tola. Actually, a really good angle from the that SBL player, but missed the uh, aerial. It was such a great flight, though. Okay, uh, it's jostled dangerously close to the front. Yankee's able to knock it clear. Back left corner of the SPL side. Oh, a missed defense by Tola there. It's... Uh, kind of bobbled around. Oh, another miss there. Okay, Destiny takes it away. Being pushed down mid-court. Macho. Oh, it was knocked out of the front. Game and Printa was able to come in there and bounce it off against the wall before it was in too much of a dangerous position. Yankee double bobbling. It's rolling around that corner. Macho Waffles is just sitting there. I think we might have a disconnection error. That might not be good. Oh, he's moving now. He's moving. Okay. Okay, Macho Waffles. I was a little bit worried there. A good attempt at an aerial by Destiny there. Not able to follow up from the SBL blue team.
The danger zone. Game in print up. Oh, I missed, but that's okay. Yankee's able to push it out of the way. Tola bobbles it back in. Almost an execution there by Tola, but missed that little bit of an aerial. Jumps under the ball. Macho Waffle gives it a little bobble towards the towards the goal, but it's knocked back out of the way by Tola. Yankee with an aerial. Oh! Oh, it might, it might be. Oh, good defense by Tola there. Thanks, Cedro Woolley. Yes, this is the uh, Lake Stevens purple squad playing against the Seattle Public Library blue squad. All three Vikings players in the corner there. Able to get the defense. Macho Waffles is sitting still again there. I'm a little bit worried that we're having a connection issue on uh, Macho Waffles' side. Fortunately, Game and Printa and uh, Yankee have been able to hold down the fort so far. A miss. That's okay. It's heading towards the goal. Oh, I thought it was going to spin out of the way. There's a goal right there. Man, that is unfortunate. Where is Macho Waffles? I think we have some, uh, maybe some connection errors going on here. Okay, let's keep an eye on Macho Waffles here. It's the purple and gold car. It's just sitting there. Oh, good defense by the completely stationary Macho Waffles. This is not good. I think we're having... Oh, he's moving now. Well, for right now, it seems like uh, we're playing two to three, kind of. What a great aerial by Yankee. Almost able to push it in there. Okay, Macho Waffles is moving now. It's moved into the back left corner of the Lake Stevens side of the pitch. Uh-oh. Good positioning. Oh, what a great block by Game and Printer, though. Destiny almost able to capitalize on that. Macho Waffles trying to punch it down the way. Getting it around the corner. One minute. It's in front. Can't oh, Lake Stevens player not able to get there fast enough. A good attempt by Yankee, though. Uh-oh. All three Lake Stevens players on the wrong side of the court. A demo. Oh, Game and Printer almost scores on himself, but he blocks it instead. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, a self goal by the Lake Stevens side. An accidental self goal after Destiny misses the first punch. Missed it. Game and Printa uses the, the back side of the car to accidentally bobble it in. Still a very good game back and forth though. Okay, let's see how we go. We got 45 seconds left. It's two to one for the SPL blue team. It's pushed into the back left corner of the SPL side of the pitch. Game and Print is able to bring it around the corner. Destiny misses the defense, but Tola is able to bobble it up over to the top right corner. It's pushed back kind of into a good spot here. I missed Ariel. Ooh, Macho Waffle is not able to get up off the ground. This is not good. Okay, excellent block by Yankee. A good Ariel by Tola. It's pushed back into the middle of the pitch. Game and Print is able to push it to the back left side of the blue side of the pitch. Macho Waffle's up on the side of the map. Oh, what a great block! By I, I wasn't sure if that was actually going to be a block or not, but that looked like a great block. Game and Printa misses it. I think that's going to be probably round one here. There's only five seconds left unless the Lake Stevens team is able to get in a miraculous shot here. But looks like not a really good game, a really good round one. Uh, goes to the SPL blue team, I think. Whoa, okay. All right, we're in. Uh, okay, it's moving. Uh, uh, okay, we're back. I do not know what just happened, you guys. We're going to jump right into it. Sorry about that. Okay, all right, so sorry you guys. Some weird tech things going on there, but I think we're back at it now. Everything seems to be functioning. My mic is working, the audio is working. Great jibble by Tola there, and I think Macho, yeah, Macho Waffles is moving now, so I think we're back, I think we're back. I think everything is going smoothly now. Yankee bobbling up into the aerial back left corner of the SPL blue side of the pitch. Oh, Yankee, bit of a miss there, but that's okay, Tola missed as well. Game and Printa break dancing over there. Yankee able to punch into the back left corner. Oh, oh, a great block by Tola. That was going to roll right into the goal there by the looks of it. Tola aerials it high up onto the wall, the left side, and it's bounced back across the other side of the pitch. It's now shallow in the blue side of the pitch. 
a demo from Game & Printer on Orkal. I don't think I've seen Orkal. I guess maybe Orkal's been playing defense this time. Uh, all right. Or maybe they had a, a change in profiles. Dangerous out here in front of the Lake Stevens goal. Macho Waffles and Game & Printer are both able to push it out of the way. Destiny punches it into the corner. It's in the danger zone here. A good block by Macho Waffles. A good response shot by Tola. It's right in front of the Lake Stevens side. A good bobble. Yankee pushes him out of the way. Yankee, oh no! <laughs> Misses it. Able to grab the boost though. Game & Printer rolls it around the right side. A good block and a good bobble by Destiny. Pushes it up. Knocked out of the way. Macho Waffles, good job. Uses the back side of that car to block it. Tola pushes it. It's rolling around the left side. Yankee's able to stop it in its track. Tola pushes it back over. It's right in front. Destiny flies out of nowhere. A great pass from the LSH, or I'm sorry, the SPL blue team. Yankee trying to block it here, but a good follow-up by Tola. Maybe getting a little bit caught up between the two Lake Stevens players in that corner there. But a good point by the SPL blue team. Sorry for the lack of commentary, you guys. I'm making sure that my second team... It's like I missed a point in the meantime. My bad. Second point by SPL Blue. Okay, it looks like my players for the other team have logged in. Oh! Man! A really quick point. around a little bit too long there in that back right corner. Yankee's able to push it. Ooh, and a good attempt at an aerial there, but not able to connect midair. 55 seconds left is three to zero. Oh, Macho Waffles tries to aerial off the wall there, but instead it's going back the other way. Yankee pushes it high up on the wall on the right side, rides the rim up into the corner. Destiny's trying to find a way. Destiny finds it on the bottom. It's pushed towards Macho Waffles, who pushes it deep back into the SPL side, who bobbles it right back. Punches it into the back right corner of the Vikings pitch. A missed shot by Tola means that it is rolling up the right side of the rim in midfield. A demo on Yankee by Tola. It's sitting in the back right corner. Destiny now dribbling it up the left side, bouncing it off the wall. I think we got one player in between them. Yankee's there. Excellent. Yankee's able to keep that, trying to pull off a dribble of his own. Passes it over to Macho Waffles. Didn't really seem to see it. Game and Printer misses the hit. Yankee, we got two seconds left. It is in the back right corner. A demo on Macho Waffles by Destiny. And that is the second match that goes to SPL. Okay, so that was the second match to SPL Blue, which means we should have a third match here if I understand correctly, because it's best out of five. Let the auto cam do its thing. Looks like we got everybody here. Perfect. So we're right into game three. If SPL Blue is able to um, clinch this one up, that will be the game. Oh! 
Oh, Yankee almost able to punch it in. Game and printed with the wrong angle there, but that was, I think, going to be a point. Macho Waffles demo on Orkal. Macho Waffles a good punch deep back right. It's going to be coming back the other way after it bounces off the wall. Macho Waffles. Ooh, a nice lob right towards the goal. Uh, blocked by Destiny. What a great shot, though. A nice lob there. Yankee playing some forward defense. Ooh, that was a good shot by Macho Waffles, too. But Wow, a nice aerial by Yankee. He's, uh, he's really going for the aerials. Not all of them are connecting, but it's nice to see him trying. You know, it's like sometimes... You, those aerials are hard to pull off, and so it could be tempting to not even really give him a shot. Ball's going back the other way. Yankee's got it uh, up against the wall. It's pushed right in front of the Lake Stevens goal. Oh, a nice block by Game and Printa. Almost followed up by Orkal. Bounced. And oh, Destiny. What a great shot by Destiny, but also a great block by Yankee. Uh, the LS, not LS, I guess, the SBL blue team now. On the defense, Yankee taking it down the left side. Oh, a great shot by Yankee, but it's blocked by Destiny in the goal. What a great dribble all the way down. It's being pushed back the other way. Macho Waffles brings it back into the left corner of the blue side of the pitch. Blue is the SBL Blue team. Almost a good shot off the corner, but not really hitting the angle there. Yankee is coming up. The ball is on the top right side of the blue side of the pitch. It's rolled right in front of the goal. Yankee and Game and Printer are able to punch it out of the way. If we can get a player coming up on this right side, nope, nope, not possible that time. Tola punches it hard down the, oh, punches it hard down the uh, pitch, but it is blocked by Yankee midair. Macho Waffle is able to disrupt the defense, send it high into the top left corner of the blue side of the pitch. They're trying to bring it around that left corner, but the defense is set up by the SBL blue team. A little bit of a juggle there, pushes it through. Ooh, is this a shot? Is this a shot? A little bit too high into the right, but a great shot by Yankee. It was lobbed high and up to the right. Macho Waffles punches it up into the corner. It's bounces kind of out in front of the SPL blue side, but with a quick punch is in the back left side of the Vikings side as well. A little bit dangerous here. It's out in front of the goal. Oh, a miss by Orkal. Means that that is not a point. Destiny and Yankees jostling for position. It's punched into the midfield by Destiny. Yankee pushes it high into the left. It is now deep into the left corner of the blue side of the, of the pitch. Destiny takes it low around the left corner of the purple team goal. It's sitting in a dangerous spot. It's a good shot. Oh, finds the angle from the left corner of the uh, of the pitch. Barely angles it into that narrow goal. Tola 206 finds it over the heads of two purple Vikings. Scores now one to zero. This game has been a lot closer. Uh, we have a minute 55 left. On the contest, it's knocked deep left into SBL Blue territory. And the SBL Blue defense is looking pretty slim. One person there. Oh, it goes behind. Oh, but Macho Waffle's a little bit too excited there. Tula misses. Orkal finds it. Oh, Orkal misses. That's okay. Tola finds the third one. Almost like it was going to be a self goal there by Orkal. Um, instead, the ball is sitting midfield right now. Tola's dribbling it down. Yankee finds the knock, sends it deep left into the SBL blue court. It is now midfield again. Yankee with a, a low aerial. Destiny taking it, dribbling it down to the right side, bouncing it off the mid part of the pitch. Game and Print is sitting back there on defense. Macho Waffles going for the boost. And it looks like they're going to take it up around the corner. Ooh, a nice hit by Macho Waffles. High and off of that corner. This might be a shot for Yankee. Oh, he has to bounce it up over Tola. It's not enough. Tola was sitting in position. He had to find the angle. He tried to get the jump to knock it in, but it was such a such a, a high angle he had to hit. He jostled it a little bit too hard. Uh, Yankee contesting Destiny for the ball here in the right side of the purple Vikings team. It's knocked with a beautiful pass out in front of the goal, but it doesn't look like there's any uh, SPL players there to capitalize on it. 35 seconds left. Oh, it's out in front of the SBL goal. 
I don't think we're gonna, I don't know, it's pretty close. We still got 25 seconds left, Game and Print knocks it out in front. Oh, but a good defensive play. I think it's gonna go all the way back. It bounces off the corner. Almost a defensive goal by the goalie on the SBL side. All of the Purple Vikings are gonna have to be on offense if they're gonna get a goal in the next 12 seconds. They've been fighting for this one. There's eight seconds left. Oh, a great block by Destiny. It's punched hard up above the purple goal. Oh, and Game and Printa stops the momentum. I think that's gonna be it. There it is. The score is one to zero. SBL wins. They went three and zero. Oh, a very good game. Very tight all the way around. Okay, you guys. Here's what's gonna happen next. I am going to um, exit to the main menu, and we are going to jump into the second game, which is going on right now. It is the Gold Viking Squad versus the I Team Vikings Varsity. We actually have two Vikings teams competing here. And so you guys know, for anybody who's watching, this stream is on a three minute delay. You may have seen that up here on the screen. Um, that is per NASEF policy. Oh my goodness. All right, we joined into a bit of a bloodbath by the look of it here. It is zero to seven on the uh, I-Team PGHS side. go to the uh, auto cam, let it do its thing. So our team, the LSHS gold team, is blue. And the, uh, the block by squints there. Let's move into this view. And the uh, I-team varsity is the orange squad. Ooh, some great aerials by Swifty. Let's take a look here. We'll see that uh, Swifty is the one locking in most of these goals. He's got four. Deadly Aerial playing defense there. It's sitting out in front. There's Blizzard with the bug car again. Swifty finding that aerial spot. Ooh, a good shot there. <coughs> Excuse me. Swifty able to knock it out in front for the other I-Team Varsity player to punch it in. Unfortunately, all three uh, LSHS Gold Vikings players uh, sitting in front of the goal there. Swifty takes it up around the corner again, punches it high and up out of the way. Trying to set up for those passes by the looks of it. Caden and Deadly Aereo are trying to take it down the right side of the court, but Swifty finds a way to jostle out of position and pass out into the front. No one seems to be there to take the pass, though. Like, Polaris is kind of dancing in the background by the look of it. Uh-oh. Deadly Aereo kind of giving us a pass here. Here comes the I-Team Varsity defense. Wow, what a great uh, aerial control by it. Polaris there, going for the point high, a little bit too high, bouncing off there. Squints tries to find it, styling in midair. Blizzard accidentally knocking uh, Aereo out of the way. Aereo accidentally demoing Squints. Six, five seconds left. A good pass there. I don't think they're actually trying to score at this point. They're just knocking it around. A pretty dominant victory by the I-Team Varsity Squad. All right, here we go. Game on. Polaris with the demo. It is sent back towards the I-Team Varsity Squad. Swifty jostling it back there. Squints tries to connect, but isn't able to hit the angle. Deadly Aereo is able to knock it out of range. Caden able to knock it up over Swifty's head. Squints misses the aerial. Wow, a really great uh, block on the back by Swifty there. And a good pass. Jostled and bobbled out in front of the gold team goal. It's knocked into midfield. And there is a shot by Squints on a wide open goal. First point goes to the I-Team Varsity. I kind of have to call them I-Team Varsity and call ours the gold team because both of them have the word Vikings in them. <laughs> it's a pretty neat hot rod they got going on there. Let's 
Swifty knocks it out in front of the goal. And it looks like they might have a shot here. Oh, no, the defense comes in. And it's got the angle back towards the purple team. Got a really cool uh, look there at the, the area. Let's see if we can change cameras a little bit. A nice shot by Polaris. Not able to find the angle, though. Squint's trying to find the angle. Not able to find it. Swifty trying to find the angle. Maybe able to find it. Nope. Polaris trying to find the angle. Not able to find it. Four back-to-back -back shots by the, uh, the the varsity squad there, but did not connect. All right, let's go to the director. See what the director has to say. Polaris contesting deadly Aereo here. Deadly Aereo up, trying to knock it up out of the into the uh, over the goal, I should say. But Polaris rides up the wall and finds it. Swifty trying to bring the aerial in here. Squints. I'm not really sure if they're trying to pass there or trying to connect, but either way, here comes Squints. Tries to punch it in. A really good shot by Squints. Angles it in midair, and that is zero to two for the I Team Varsity Squad. <laughs> Looks like Blizzard has some sushi rolls on top of her car. Swifty finds the angle, punches it down in front of the goal. Ooh, no connection there, though. Oh, Deadly Area was thinking about bringing it in there, but blocked by two uh, I-Team Varsity players there. Uh-oh. Looks like the, uh, the goal team might be kind of... Fighting, fighting themselves here a little bit. Swifty bobbles it up over two gold team members. Deadly Area tries to find the defense. Ooh, bit of a mess there on the left side of the goal, but able to block that instead. Deadly Aerial contesting Polaris Void on the aerial there. Swifty tries to punch it in, a little bit too much heat, but Squint is able to follow up instead. That beautiful purple hot rod. All right, I think we're going to go back to the auto cam. I really like the auto cam. Come on, auto cam. There we go. Polaris knocks it up and over Blizzard's head. Oh. Up and over three. Up and over all three uh, defenders' heads. Over the first one, over the second one, and somehow over that third one. A good shot by Polaris Void. Swifty flying into the heart hands there. 4-0 to zero with a minute and 42 seconds left in this second round. Polaris Void jostling it up out of the way. Swifty riding backwards. Quince is able to take it out of the position of the purple squad, or the gold squad, I should say. It's pushed out in front. Polaris Void tries to punch it in, but not able to find the aerial. Squint demos Deadly Aerial, and Deadly Aerial gets the point off the demo. <laughs> there you have it. Oh, man. Deadly Aerial grabs that first point with the uh, sheer force of his explosion. Polaris looking for the angle, punches it hard right across the goal. Deadly Aerial, able to find it. Not able to keep the speed though. Caden punches it, Swifty's able to block it. I think Squint is gonna knock it out here. Although Deadly Aerial does demo Swifty. Squint has got the Aerial, dragging it through the air. Deadly Aerial, a great block by Deadly Aerial, getting under where that angled ball was coming in. Caden able to roll it past one, but not the other jostling each other, pushing Squints out of the way. Polaris, wow, out of nowhere, falls out of the sky and, and knocks it right in front of the gold team. Polaris punches it up for a pass. Deadly Area was able to 
Uh, disrupt the pass. Oh, looks like the purple team is fighting each other for points. How unfortunate. The, the gold team is fighting each other for points. Caden and Deadly Aereo. Now, sometimes it's kind of hard to see where your opponents, or rather where your friends are when you're uh, with the weird camera settings in this game. Good aerial by Polaris knocks it down, flattens it. Swifty punches it over Blizzard's head. Both Caden and Squint miss that one. We got nine seconds left in the second round. Scores one to four. This is going to be the second game. Squint is juggling it in the air. We're still juggling it. It's knocked up over the uh, varsity squad. It's knocked down. That is the second round. A lot closer that time, an accidental goal by Deadly Aereo. Um, and almost another goal by either Caden or Deadly Aereo, but a little bit too much of a... Uh, a little bit too much of a friendly jostling for position means that that did not end up being the case. But hey, that's Rocket League. It's Rocket League in a nutshell. Okay, we're going to have one more round. Best three out of five. So I'm joining the spectating team. Go to the auto cam. Maybe. There we go. Dueling. Oh my gosh. What a great. Look at that. A shot by all three of them. What a strange pass. Squints is hugging the ball all the way down. Polaris somehow finds the angle over the top. What a strange point. 14, second, uh, 14 seconds in and the I-Team Varsity Squad is up over the gold team. Caden tries to take it out of the, uh, the backfield for the gold squad. Swifty almost gets the point. Squint almost uh, executes on the point. <clears throat> Oh, Deadly Aereo tries to block, unable to, but Caden is able to find the point or the, the block after all. Here comes Blizzard. Blizzard misses the punch, but Caden is able to get it. Deadly Aereo might have a point blocked by Squints. A good defense on the I Team Varsity's uh, side of things. Wow, some great passes back and forth. A great pass from Polaris to Squints. Mid air dueling aerials. Here comes the bounce from Polaris. Squints is able to find the angle. It is two to zero, four minutes and five seconds left in this third round. If the I-Team Varsity Squad is able to uh, win this, that will be the whole game. Deadly Aero seems to be standing still, not sure if it was a connection issue or maybe just sitting this round out. Seems to just be sitting this round out, I guess. <laughs> Oh, lost connection. That is unfortunate. Oh, deadly area's back. Okay. There he is, Deadly Aero's back in the match. <laughs> Flying out of nowhere for the for the block there. Looks like Caden and Deadly Aero are kind of dancing in the goal there. Deadly Aero's back for blood. Tries to find the corner, knocks it out towards the middle. Swifty finds the defense, Caden demos Swifty. Caden demos Polaris, the double demo by Caden. Bloodthirsty. Caden tries to punch it over the corner, but misses. Instead, the I-Team Varsity team pushes it back into the back right corner of the gold team. Take a shot on the goal, but it bounces off the bottom right corner of the goal. Deadly Aereo flies into the air and um, volleys it towards the wall. It's being bobbled back and forth between these two teams. I-Team Varsity tries to bounce it off the wall. Squints takes a pass across, a little bit too high for anybody to connect. Swifty uh, catches the momentum, lowers it onto the ground. Deadly Aereo with a dribble, might be able to get a point here, but there's some great defense by Squints sitting in front of the goal. 
Quince now, probably going for a point of their own. Swifty rolls it around the left side. It's pushed right in front, but there's nobody there to capitalize on it. Instead, it goes up over the right side of the wall of the blue goal. Squint's going for the aerial. Tries to bobble it in. A really good aerial, but not in the right spot to uh, punch it in in the end. Swifty is juggling it in the midfield. Deadly aerial knocks it high and up and out of the way. Swifty's able to block it before it rolls too far close to the I-Team varsity goal. Caden catches up Swifty, but Swifty's able to find a way around. Deadly Aerial knocks it over Swifty. Volleyed high into the air by the I-Team Varsity. Squint seemed to have missed the shot, or the missed the, the boost there by the looks of it. Polaris is somehow able to, to float that ball over the heads of two perp, uh, gold team Vikings. Squint is in the air, trying to put it in the good position. Caden misses, Swifty's looking for a spot. Deadly Aerial's able to knock it over the two. The angle was right, that would have been a point, but Deadly Area is not able to quite get the angle. Instead, it is now bobbled out in front of the I-Team Varsity goal. Squints is able to aerial and uh, put the, the butt end of his car to knock it deep left into gold team territory. And Polaris with a beautiful uh, assist off of Squints pass, who is able to uh, roll it up and over the gold team goal. 51 seconds left in this third match. Assuming that the I-Team Varsity squad is able to uh, finish this game up, that will make it the final round of the match. Caden is able to find, uh, get it over the head of at least one I-Team Varsity. Swifty seems to be all alone, looking for the pass to Polaris. All three gold team members on the wrong side of the pitch. Deadly Aerial, they're looking for those aerial passes at this point. Swifty knocks it the wrong direction, um, but Polaris Void is able to push it back. Swifty with the aerials here, trying to guide this one in, but on the wrong side of the ball, tries to pass it to Squints. Squints hits it, but isn't able to get the angle. Deadly Aerial trying to find that goal. Squints, oh, cradles it with the butt end of his car. Pulls, just pulls it in just barely, stops all of that momentum, stopping the uh, gold the gold squad from getting it done. Oh my gosh, what an incredible pass! They score in the very last second with zero seconds left after a really great strange aerial by Polaris just knocking it in. And that is the game, you guys. Zero to four, the uh, I-Team Varsity squad is the winners of that whole game, three to zero. Um, so that's unfortunately two losses for the LSHS Esports Rocket League team. One on the gold team, one on the purple team, but pretty good matches all the way around. Fun to watch, fun to see people in the high school level playing so competitively. Um, for those of you guys who are interested, we will continue to have more esports stuff on this channel. And we will continue to have more esports stuff on our... Let's go ahead and close that. On our LSHS... Go ahead and take this off on our LSHS um, Video Game Club YouTube channel. If you're interested, uh, you can just type in LSHS Video Game Club and you'll find that on YouTube. We've got the most recent League of Legends tournament is on there. Um, we I'm going to be putting the recent Madden matches up there as well as these Rocket League uh, streams when I can get to them. That's where they will all be recorded. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again next time.